So give me an example of how Zenput solves some of those issues we just outlined. Yeah, look, um, we talk to restaurateurs and, uh, and operators in the, in the, in the multi-unit world on a regular basis. I think they're struggling right now heavily on the labor side. So the, the most important thing that we're hearing from our customers is they've got to find a way to either automate the day-to-day -day work that gets done by these individuals and also get as much out of them as they can on a regular basis. It's everything from, you know, being able to use their tablets and their smartphones as a way to deliver messages about supply chain issues that are coming up, about jobs that are popping up, uh, that potentially because someone else can't come in at the moment or shift that's open, but it also uh, it also stems from the way that they deal with their physical environment, right? A lot of remote temperature monitoring where we're putting in um, significant amount of sensors in these places to help them deal with the fact that they can't run around for an hour a day checking temperature in every refrigerator, every freezer, hmm. and everything that's on the line today. So that would be something very specific to restaurants. So you, primarily your software, what else do you guys help solve? You know, if we take something like the labor shortage, are you saying basically you can save time on things like routine, you know, temperature checks and free up that time to use elsewhere? What are some of the other bottlenecks holding restaurants back right now? Yeah, so I think you'd see anything on the routine side can add up to being roughly four, five, six hours of work a day that they're, uh, that they're running through and they're having to do checks on a regular basis. That in inevitably becomes a bit of a problem when all of a sudden an hour before your uh, your restaurant opens up or your convenience store opens up, you got a call in from one of your team members that says, hey, I've got Omicron and I can't come in now, right? Um, so what we're seeing is uh, both a, a navigation towards let's buy technology to remove the day-to-day -day procedures that we're doing, but also better plan for some of the things that are, are happening down the line, right? If we've got a change and we're not we're no longer going to receive the type of produce that we're expecting to the next week you've got to communicate that out to 50 100 locations you've got to turn around and change the menu up a little bit you've got to maybe be creative in the things that you're offering and so on a regular basis we deal with both um the kind of day-to-day -day objects that are happening activities that are happening within that store but also on the food prep management side right like what are we prepping how much do we have what does that change on our menu mix you know moving forward does just working with a software product like Zenput also take up time? Because I think about a lot of these business owners who, you know, or even a lot of us in white collar jobs where dealing with the dealing of the software we have to deal with is itself such a hassle and so annoying. Look, at some point, we'd love to get some sort of state where, you know, robotics can help replace some of these things. But the reality is that it removes a big chunk of the work that you have to do, right? 70, 80 percent of the work that you're typically doing, and you're getting it done in 10 or 20 or 30 percent of the time, right? And so you're finding more efficiency out of people when they're actually able to come in and, and serve and, and, and work in that, in that convenience store, in that restaurant chain, wherever it may be. Um, so there is a big lift for the individuals. And you see... I mean, if you look at it, uh, if you look at the Fed, you know, uh, announced this uh, a couple of weeks ago, but the, the numbers for even high school students today being employed is the best of what we've ever seen in the last few years. And these, and these kids that are coming in in this new generation, they expect technology to be in place, right? They're used to, uh, they're using their, their phones to communicate with everything they do on the consumer side. And so naturally, the drive for them is that they want to come into an environment that has that today uh, for their job.